morning. Could everyone please stand, if you're able, to, at the reading of God's Word. We'll wait on Tim to have a seat. I'll be reading out of Psalms 46. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, to the, though the earth give away and the mountains fall and, the, and into the heart of the sea, through the waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose stream make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fail. God will help. God will help her break. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord. The desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow, the bow, and shatters the spear. He burns the shield with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will exalt among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob's, Jacob is our fortress. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, again, we thank you for your word, the wisdom of your word, the truth of your word. We ask you to be with us this morning, Lord, as we honor your presence here, as we worship you, as we lift up our prayers and praise. We just thank you for this day. Amen. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You guys aren't quite awake, I get it, but you're going to get awake as we start singing. We're glad you're here this morning as we worship our Lord together. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer that calls me from a world of care and bids me at my Father's throne make all my wants and wishes known. In seasons of distress and grief, my soul has often found me leave, and oft escaped the tempter's snare by thy return.
God sent his son. They call him Jesus. He came to love, heal and forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon. My Savior lives because He lives. I can face tomorrow because He lives. All fear is gone because I know He holds the future. Life is worth the living just because he lives. How sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel the pride and joy he gives, but greater still. The call of assurance This child can face uncertain days Because he lives Because he lives I can face tomorrow Because he lives All fear is gone because I know he holds the future and life is worth the living just because he lives. And then one day I'll cross that river, I'll find life's fine. No war with pain, and then as death gives way to victory, I'll see the lights of glory, and I'll know He lives, because He lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future, and life is worth the living just because he lives. Because he lives. I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know he holds the future and life is worth the living just because he be awake now. All right, we're awake for the memory verse. If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. If anyone, if anyone is thirsty, thirsty let, let him come, come to me and, and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture said, he believes in me, as the scripture said, from his innermost beings will flow rivers of living water. From, from his, his innermost, innermost beings beings will flow rivers of living water. Let's say that one more time. If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture said. He who believes in me, as the scripture said. From his innermost beings will flow rivers of living water. From his innermost beings will flow rivers of living water. And that's, you don't have to repeat this, but that's found in John <laughs> chapter 7. So.
kind of short. Will you please pray with me? Pray with me? Um, dear Heavenly, like gracious, and loving God, we thank you for today. We thank you that you are here with us. And we pray that we can feel your love and presence with us. And we pray that we can have open, mind, open hearts and minds to um, learn and grow in how you want us to learn and grow in. And we please pray that you can be with PK and speak through, use the Holy Spirit and speak through him. Um, and again, help us to have open hearts and minds to what you want us to hear and take from it. And help us to live our lives for you every single day. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Right. Here we go. <laughs> Can't leave me alone. You got to leave me alone, Jim. You want to come up here and sing for us? <laughs> What a wonderful change in my life has been drawn since Jesus came into my heart. I have lied in my soul for which long I have sought since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart.
Good morning. As always at HCC, we welcome any visitors, and if you're an immersed believer in Jesus, please join us as we uh, celebrate communion this morning. The world tells us to find our own truth. Do whatever you think is right. And actually it was mentioned this morning in Sunday school, we often hear the phrase, you be you. And the world says all oh, that's that philosophy is okay because God loves you, right? God does love everyone. But uh, God's love is not a free ticket to eternal life. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Because he loves us, he provided a way through his son Jesus. The wages of sin is death, says his word. Through the blood of Jesus, we are no longer under the wrath of God. As uh, Pastor Kurt mentioned Wednesday night, we too have been passed over and now have eternal life with him. And this morning, I'll just take a moment as we share the emblems representing his blood and his body that we give thanks for that Passover, that we no longer can fear death. We can no longer fear a life without Christ. Let's go to him in prayer. Heavenly Father, again, as we come to you as a united in communion to remember what you did for this world simply out of the love that you had for your best creation. We thank you, Lord, for your plan of salvation for the blood of your son, Jesus, Lord, who allowed us to pass over your wrath. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to serve you in a way that's honorable. And that each one of us, Lord, in, in our walk with you, that we're forever thankful for his grace, his mercy, his just justice. We just thank you for the path that you opened up for, for your creation, that they would freely come forward, Lord, and choose you and to choose to repent and move away from our sinful desires. Lord, it's your holy name we pray. Amen. Jesus took the bread, gave thanks, and broke it. He said, do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, he took the cup, said, this is the covenant of my blood, the new covenant of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me.
Let's pray for our tithes and offerings this morning. Heavenly Father, again, we're, as, as always, we are truly blessed. We thank you for this wonderful building and property that you blessed us with. We thank you, Lord, for all the work that was done yesterday by the, by the men and getting those trees cut down. We just thank you for the servant hearts that we have here and the many things that are done behind the scenes, Lord, that uh, a lot of people don't see. We thank you for, for that, Lord. We thank you for the, the monies that are collected, the, the, the things we're able to do, Lord. We, again, as always, we just pray that we do it in your will, that we do it in your timing, that we use these uh, funds wisely, that we are good stewards in all that you give us. And we just want to give you thanks in all things. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you for just a moment. It's actually been one year ago this week that life as I knew it was going to be turned upside down. And uh, I had an issue, a medical issue, and I went to the hospital, and I spent a few days there. And um, I remember thinking, wow, this is not really all that great, but I'm going to get through this. God, you're going to get me through this. And so um, it finally resided, and I got to go home. Well, when I went home, I didn't realize there would be not one, but two more hospital stays. And in the process of all of this, that first hospital stay, I had met Dr. Davis, who they decided that I needed a scan. The scan showed a mass on the right kidney. Dr. Davis said, Linda, we need to remove the right kidney because the biopsy, which they did when I was in the hospital the first time, shows that it's aggressive cancer. And I thought, wow, okay, because I had no symptoms. I didn't feel anything wrong with me. And I thought, okay, we can do this. And I said, well, how long will I be here? And he said, Linda, you'll be there about, you know, you'll come in on a Friday and you'll go home on a Sunday. Well, in the process of that, I went back to life. He said, my office will call you. We'll set up a date. So I always mowed the front yard since we'd be then. And for the first time, I tripped over a root, and I fell. And I thought, wow. So two days after I came home from the first hospital stay, Dr. Davis did call. He said, you know, it's the cancer. We need to remove it. And I remember going in to tell my mom, mom, I have aggressive cancer, and they're going to take one of my kidneys. And she quietly sat there, and then she suddenly said, <laughs> 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 
she said, Linda, God let you fall because no one was listening. And I thought, oh, okay. Well, when, this, when the actual process of having the kidney removed, I didn't come home on Sunday. There was major issues that took place. And I thought, hmm, okay, here we go again. I didn't realize there would still be a third hospital stay before everything was taken care of. But while I was there the second time, all I could keep hearing was my mother saying, God let you fall because you weren't listening. And I started having a conversation, God, what am I missing here? What, what am I not seeing? What am I not understanding? And it finally got through to me, Linda, you're not listening. Listen to me. I mean, I thought I was listening, and I'm not going to say I never listened, but obviously he was teaching me, learn to listen more. And so I thought, okay, I can do that. And when I came home from the hospital, after the hospital stay, the second one, instead of being two days, turned into almost six due to complications. And I thought, when I get home, okay, I can, I can get everything done. But I was still hearing at night when I go to bed her voice. And I kept thinking, okay, God, I need to learn to listen. And that's what this song is all about. It's a simple song, and it's simply called Be Still. Be still, my soul, be 
Everybody said?